Eeny, meeny, miny, moe Catch a hater by the toe They be talking so loud But they ain't really know <laughs> Daniel Adams is a charlatan. Daniel Adams is a fraud. Daniel Adams wants to do whatever he can to be relevant, to make money. Before I go to what I'm talking about, uh, let me just pull up the scriptures. I want to cover a couple of things. One, Paul brings up in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 5, speaking about these false teachers and so forth, these evil men. He says they are men of constant friction between men of depri depraved mind and deprived of the truth, who suppress or suppose that godliness is a means of gain, meaning that they think that by being seen as a believer, holding a Christian office, that's a way to gain wealth. That's a way to gain something, to gain a gain, not knowing that godliness is the gain. Well, why am I talking about this? Someone told me about Daniel Adams having Daniel Adams music. Daniel Adams has been all sorts of things. They ain't talking about nothing. Now, I'm not the best, the most up-to-date on the rap scene, current rap scene. Now, go back to the 80s. I, I, listen, that's what I, that's my rap from the in the 1980s, but that's a whole other story. But he is apparently into rap now. He wants to get his, I guess, his music career off the, off the ground. I'm going to have to just give you a little bit of piece of advice if you happen to see this. Don't do that. This is horrible. I'm not listening. Maybe I'm not the best to speak about rap, but this is horrible. Devil tried to stop me. Stop me. Thought he caught a body. Thought he had me tripping. tripping. Thought he caught me slipping. Caught up in my sins. Lost all my friends. Watched everything come to a bit of end. Let me, let me just say this. Just because words rhyme don't mean you should put them together. It, furthermore, just because you like music doesn't mean that you should actually be. I mean, this is bad. This is when I say bad, I'm, I mean really, really bad. And I might get a copyright strike for some of these clips that I'm showing, but it's worth it. I'll try to take it all away, but I live to see another day. I don't know what to say other than this is horrible, but it's par for the course with him. Why do I say that? Because he's always into something. Have you noticed that some of the people that used to partner with him are no longer partnered with him? It's bad. It says something about you when the people who also have bad and egregious doctrine no longer want to be with you because they see you for someone who's fraudulent, someone who's out for self. That's just kind of the word the scuttlebutt behind the scene. I won't say who said it, but you'll notice the absence of a lot of people that used to be with him who are no longer with him anymore. And he's always been into schemes from the Leg lengthening with that he took a cue from my, from Todd White. You want to see something? Father, I thank you for this girl's leg. I command this leg right now. Grow out. All the way. Bones be recreated. Joints be recreated. Now. Now. All the way. All the way. I think we may have gained like an inch. I think you've got like an extra inch so far. Using actors or paying people to pretend to be demon possessed and using the exact same ones that Catherine Crick used. One out in Every Jesus name. On her life has to be yes. Thank you, Lord. Out. In Jesus name. Yes, you will leave her. Get out. Get out. Every one of you. He sees one false, fake, demonic, false prophet T.B. Joshua writing on the board, writing in tongues. And because he got a good response, what does he want to do? He wants to do the exact, he wants to copy the exact same thing because that's a way that I can make some money. That's the way I can exploit the people. You don't talk. <laughs> And I'm not trying to be mean, but I may have to use some harsh terms. He is a joke. How much so? Even kids think he's a joke. Speaking tongues, guys. Come on, guys. Do it. You got it. Shit, did it. Oh, my God. And this is a pastor. That really, you know, this is a pastor. And this is a pastor that relates to him. Peter says in 2 Peter 2, 3, and in their greed, they will exploit you with false words. Their judgment from long ago, however, is not idle and their destruction is not asleep. 
He is going to be a person that's going to have to deal with the Lord. I don't know if he's ever going to change. I pray that he does. I pray that he would repent and come to embrace Christ truthfully. Uh, I, I, Grant, I'm not even talking about his background, but just where you are now. You can be a person with a solid background and come to Christ. All of us can testify to that. But you cannot come to Christ with that background and not shed that background and want to live that way, looking or trying to use Christ as an opportunity. That's a problem. Forget what you did in the past. We're talking about right now. And yeah, this is this is bad, but it's expected of him. This is a person who has been accused of and apparently there's some validity to it to uh, accuse of buying subscribers and views. Don't know. I can't verify it totally, but it looks to be some some truth to that because you've seen views literally taken away from him by YouTube. And that typically happens when they catch you or they, they think that you have been buying views or buying subscribers, that sort of thing. Uh, I don't know that aside. His doctrine is horrible. What he teaches is horrible. And his action and his practice is horrible. And oh, yeah, the music is horrible, too. Mm -hmm.